Okay, boss guys and gals, this is Ben, PT15 here with Let's Play Undertale Part 2. Last time we left off, we sort of got halfway through the introduction there. Um, we had a few battles here and there, you know, which we gained absolutely nothing from, because we're going to try and do a pacifist run here. I'm just going to see... No, I don't have any money. I'm sorry, I haven't killed anyone. Well, I feel like an asshole. I can't donate anything. But we are going to try and attempt a, uh, a true pacifist run. Hopefully that goes accordingly. Okay. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food and food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Uh, good. Ribbit, ribbit. Sorry. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. I've seen many frogs. I've seen several frogs. I'm sure. I've seen more than four. I've heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's bad. I guess it's helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it. Even if their name isn't yellow. Possible foreshadow. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There there's there are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something really you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Gee, thank you for... Uh, RPG 101. There's just one switch. Okay. Mm. Let's see... Stone... Yeah! Oh! Well, hello there, friend. How are you doing? I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. What? <laughs> okay. Alright, here's a switch. Not too difficult from the puzzle part. At least it seems. Oh, what the hell? To switch, press it, yes or no? No. What does it say? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Right. Fidget. Eh. Ah, God, that face! No! Damn, we give a shit. Hmm. Oh, I think I want to pl push the blue switch because that one didn't rotate over here. So, yeah, so I'll press the switch. Nothing happened on this side. But what about over here? Did anything happen over here? No, nothing happened over here. Shit. Uh, maybe it's you. Hmm. I don't think it's any of these in here. Yeah, it's none of these in here, so... Maybe it's you. Oh! Oh! Nope. So, what's the other orange one, then? Unless there's something behind this pillar? Okay, cool. Seems simple enough. 
But all honesty, though, these puzzles don't seem that challenging. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. I'm not really sure. This game is sending me all these mixed emotions, what with the flower betraying me in the previous episode. And this... cow-like woman just abandoning me. I don't know who I can trust. If you can read this, press the green switch. That's gonna be... This one? Nope! Ah! It doesn't seem to be a whole lot of a penalty for failure here. I mean, yeah, you do fall down to a pit, but it's not like, oh, you know, don't be died or something like with other games. Which is kind of nice, I mean, you know, it's the introduction, it's, uh... Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Ah. Uh. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Ah, yeah. Mm. There was another pathway. You know, I'm gonna... I'm just... I'm, um, I'll be... Because I'm not really sure if it's gonna like trigger something if I don't like ignoring her if it's gonna do it. Oh, hello. I found the fourth frog. Hello. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Oh! Oh, what's this? You found the toy knife! I wish I get groceries from up here. Well, unless I would have... Hmm. Interesting. Vast city. Escape. And hopefully she's not upset with me. Let's not step on the leaves. Oh. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination! Yes. Okay. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So we'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. I, I, I don't want to live here, though. I just climbed this mountain because I was like, hey, I can be cool like all the other cool kids. I can... I'm not a... Puss! This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. She's such a nice lady. Ah! Oh! Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Ooh. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. So she's wanted this for a long time. Human, some sort of child to come down here, I guess. Oh! We found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. This is so nice of her. It's just kindness. I'm not used to this. I'm so used to just... Oh. I shouldn't... Ah, screw it. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... Bonely. <laughs> God damn. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Okay. What about what's in here? Room under renovations. Oh, it's a mirror. It's me! Actually, for those of you who played the um, the NES game, that one McDonald's game, 
that that one, yes. For some reason, this kid is kind of reminding me of um, the main character in that game, or some of the main characters, because for some reason their skin is yellow. So. This is some ominous music. I'm guessing this is where the plot progresses. I'm just gonna stay up here and enjoy my time with the very nice lady, Torio. She seems aight. Don't mind me, this rummaging your health. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. I, I give it a shot. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Hmm. Maybe somebody just struck it down this hole. Like, I don't want this! Alright. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared... a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you. But I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps, it isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Uh, uh, you're so nice, I don't want to offend you. But I'm a little kid and my parents are probably freaking the shit out right now. Why can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called The 17 U 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, why not all humor? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Uh, how to exit ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. I'm sorry! Where are you going? Please don't leave me. I didn't mean to offend you. I just want to go home, that's all. Doesn't mean we can't be friends. I mean, if I can find a way home. You wish to know how home. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. What? No one will ever be able to leave again. I... I don't like that. I, I know. No, I want to go. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I can't. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want you to do that. You seem like a really nice lady. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again. And again, they come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. But I, I know you're just trying to protect me, lady, but I feel I should really try and go home. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Please, we had the remember the pie. Those were fun times. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Oh no! Victoria Black's way. Uh, let's just talk this out. You can think of any conversation topics. Oh! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Can't be distraught. You try to think of something to say again, but. Huh? Toriel looks through you. Oh no. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution in this situation. Ah! Toriel looks through you. Oh no, I can't handle another one of those things. Um... Hooray! Mm. 
Victoria looks through you. I don't... Ah, I don't want to kill her. I really don't. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the s solution to the situation. Victoria looks through you. That is right. Go upstairs. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? What are you doing? I don't want to hurt you! You're a good person! Nicest person I've met so far in this world, because everybody else seems to be rude. Attack or run away. Well, I'm not going to make any progress if I keep running away, and if I attack you, that means I hurt you, and I don't want to hurt you. What are you proving this way? That I don't have to hurt you, because you're a nice lady, you're like a motherly figure. Fight me or leave! There's gotta be a way to spare this person. Like, to spare her. I mean... Stop. This, the, the tagline for this game is, Fighting isn't necessary. That's the... No. Stop looking at me that way. Victoria looks through you. Go away! Not leaving. I want to go home. Acting move. Slowly, we are breaking her through kindness. I know you want to go home, but spare. But please go upstairs now. Spare. I promise I will take good care of you here. This game is tugging at my heartstrings. She wants to be happy, and to be happy, she wants to take good care of me. But I can't. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be in a happy trap down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. Would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye, my child. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna cry. Damn! It actually got me. Wow. Let us see what lies ahead. Oh, different color pattern. That was... Oh. I'm actually surprised, like, how much this, um... Oh! You again! Like I was saying, I'm surprised by... Clever! Very clever! I'm surprised at how much this game, like, pushes the character aspect of it. And keep in mind, I know nothing about this game. I've researched nothing, only a few trivia facts here and there. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. 
so you were able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until the tire of your trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? Let me have the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. What the f- Uh, uh, fucking flower. You could save that he's full of shit, cause manure is a fertilizer. Oh, I'm so funny. Alrighty, folks, well, that concludes, um, Part 2 of Let's Play Undertale, so I'll see you all next time on Part 3! So farewell, a video saying, happy say goodbye, peace!